welcome to the Flicks Forum podcast, where each episode we go back and we look at a Netflix original film in the order of release. This is our 12th day of Podmas, where we are releasing an episode every day in the lead up to Christmas. Today, we have Netflix 280th film from 2020. It's the Indian, sorry, the Indonesian comedy, Whipped, or in Indonesian, Bukin. It's directed by Chandra Leo and stars Andovi De Lopez, Jovial De Lopez, Chandra Liao, Tommy Lim, and Susan Same. I'm Jesse, I'm your host. Welcome. Uh, if this is a film that you are keen on checking out, give us a pause and come back later on because we are going to spoil it as we discuss this film. And we kick off with the Fast Flicks where we do a quick little summary of what the film is all about. So this one is about four men who join a program to improve their love lives. <laughs> That's as simple as I can put it because this film is very, very interesting. I don't want to get into my thoughts too early because I do want to discuss how this ended up on Netflix. And as uh, a lot of the time with international films, it's very hard to find out anything about the film. But this one is uh, the third original Netflix movie from Indonesia. The others being The Night That Comes For Us from 2018 and Guru Guru Gokil uh, from 2020, which we covered not that long ago. Um, Crazy Awesome Teachers is uh, the English translation for that title. We've done episodes on both those films. So if you're interested in checking those out, um, have a search through our podcast. This uh, The title for this film, so Bukin, um, is the Indonesian title of this film, and it's an abbreviation of the term Budak Sinta, which in English means love slave. So um, I, I like that title a little bit more, love slave, than uh, the title Whipped, because I'm not sure titling a film called Whipped in relation to females and what it means, and I'm sure as an audience member you would understand what it is in relation to, I find it kind of gross. Um, and I do find <laughs> this film is pretty gross. <laughs> We're getting ahead of ourselves. Other translations around the world. So in Portuguese, it's called AA of Love. So like Alcoholics Anonymous of Love. In French, it's called Slaves of Love. So they've taken that title and used that. In German, it's called Relationships Have to Be Learned. In Greek, it's called How Not to Drag You by the Nose. <laughs> Interesting title. Uh, Japanese, it's called I'm Hooked on You. Not too bad. Spanish, Fools of Love. And Vietnamese, Falling Down Because of Love. So they've all used the word love in the title. I'm not 100% sure that this film does a good job of actually talking about love. But again, uh, let's continue. This, this was released on Netflix on the 18th of September, 2020, uh, filmed in and around Jakarta in Indonesia. What are the critics and audiences saying about this film? Uh, Rotten Tomatoes, it only has two reviews from critics. Uh, both of them are negative. The audience has it at 60%. That's on less than 50 ratings. So uh, I think that's fresh still, realistically. On IMDb, it sits at a 4.1 out of 10 on a 671 rating. So again, not many people have seen it. And the same with Letterboxd, only 976 rating. Sits at a 2.7 out of 5, but it's been logged by 1,200 people. This is going to be a quick episode. <laughs> There's not a lot to say, but my early thoughts on this film. This film is a pile of hot steaming poo. This is horrendous. It's uh, disgusting in every way possible. It's not funny. It doesn't have any redeeming messages or qualities. That's where we're at for this film. If you want to continue to hear me rant about this film, feel free to stay around. Otherwise, uh, come back tomorrow. But let's talk about the characters. So this, as I mentioned before, this is about four guys trying to fix their love issues. So we've realistically got the, they've got the guys and their female equivalents or who they're, they're in love with. Uh, and, and from what I can gather, these are all... Um, the, the guys or the character names are all names of the cast like that so the cast play characters of themselves and i think they're possibly all um like youtube stars based on what i could see it's very hard to find any information but we start with andovi so um andovi is his brothers in this film as well who's um jovial or joe so joe um andovi is joe's younger brother in the film as an actor he's in a relationship with this girl called karana um and he goes above and beyond to support her because karana is uh ridiculously selfish and wants all the best things in life and doesn't really care about anyone other than herself if we talk about the brother, Jovial or Joe, he's a, a script writer. Um, he's been in a steady relationship for four years, but the idea is that he thinks he's not whipped, but he has issues in his relationship. And it's tricky because he starts to fall for this chick called Vanya, who um, is this psychology student who's testing these men in like escape room scenarios um, to try and prevent them from being whipped. Uh, so that's where that, that sits. Uh, the idea with Joe and, and um, Vanya is that, you know, he doesn't realize that he's already been with her before in his past because he was so drunk. So that's a little bit weird. Uh, Tommy's another one of the male friends in this room. 
He's on his way to being married. He's the only one in the group that's sort of on the way to marriage uh, to this girl called Julia. And he's always worried about putting a foot wrong with her and the money situation because her past boyfriends have obviously had more money, but he needs to pay for the wedding. He needs a new car because his car keeps breaking down. So he's stressing and Julia, you know, she seems a bit over the top. Um, she wants everything for the wedding to be perfect and, and everything that she says, she wants Tommy to agree with. So he's always stressed about, you know, disagreeing or saying the wrong thing to her. Chandra is the other guy, he's, he's a director. He's the only single person out of the friends um, and apparently he's good at escape room. So that's his um, attributes that he adds to this as well. Um, sort of mentioned to Joe before that in, in this four year relationship with this girl called um, Cilia, C Cilla, Cilla. Um, she's ready to marry, but he's sort of bored with her and we see him on Tinder while he's talking to her and things like that. So they're the characters, that's the gist of it. They've all got issues with girls and they all bag each other for being whipped. That's the film. Um, the director, Chandra Lea, uh, obviously in the film as well. He's the director character in the film. Uh, lots of YouTube and video clips. That's all I could really say. Uh, let's talk about some scenes. Are there anything... Uh, there are a couple of things that stand out. Uh, for me, I guess the, the, <laughs> these aren't really to do with the story. These are just things that I liked. There's a scene uh, at a basketball court. They, they have a basketball game. It was a really cool setup. The, the Behind the backboard, they had these cool posters of... Uh, LeBron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and they had like quotes next to them. All really well painted, looked really cool. Like that setup. That's one positive. Uh, the only other positive is there's this uh, scene where Julia has a go at Tommy because um, he does this yoga class and there's lots of girls at this class. And she's like, you know, all the girls are almost naked. And Tommy's like, well, this is naked. And he rips all his clothes off. And then Julia's grandma's sitting there and sort of makes a comment, you know, I told you your, your ex-boyfriend's better than him. Uh, that was humorous. The rest of the film, not humorous at all. And apologies, like, if you've seen this film, you've already seen this, but there's some offensive stuff in this film. Uh, the first scene is the boys sort of trapped in this escape room. They're all tied up and they, you know, they, they need clues to escape and they think the key to get out is in one of their pockets, but they're all tied up. So the boys have a go at using their mouths um, and, and the keys are obviously near the, the genital area and, and they make all these crass comments about balls and with your face and do you have a hard on and why is it so small and someone's rubbing my balls and you're giving head to, to win this this scenario. Just woeful, horrible. Um, the boys like to sing, obviously. So every song is sung poorly, it's bad. <laughs> um, Tommy and Julia, like they're in this scenario where they're sitting down in this cafe sort of thing and, and they're picking the colors for the wedding and, and Tommy's freaking out. He's gonna pick the wrong color and making the right. he has to make the right choice and they freeze frame in this restaurant or cafe and all the randoms in the restaurant are freaking out for him. So bad. Um, <laughs> another escape room situation where this, this situation is about honesty and they talk about being honest. So they're all, they're all honest about that previous scenario I spoke about, about the head on the groin from earlier. And, you know, this isn't my first time and of having my head in a groin and, and I liked it and things like that. Just not funny at all. Uh, Tommy, he goes to a restaurant to meet Julia's family. I mean, apparently they're about to get married, but he hasn't met the family yet. So he starts trying to impress the wrong table of family members. That was lame. And then Julia said like, you know, you need to pay for the bill. So he looks at the bill and he spits his food out because it's so much and then asks if the bill is the Wi-Fi password because it's so long. Lame. Uh, the boys, they're at a yoga class. I mentioned this before, but they're at this yoga class and the teacher is helping them with their body positioning and stuff. And he moves their body by making it look like sexual maneuvers with their butts and their penises in their faces and stuff. Gross, not funny at all. And then the paintball scene at the end, just rubbish. There's not much to like about this film. Uh, the themes, the ideas, I, I, I've struggled because the themes of what I took out of it, I felt really wrong. That idea that, that men should be criticized for being loyal to their partners, like that's wrong. I don't I don't get why that's a message. I think that they tried through these escape room scenarios that there's keys to relationships, making relationships work. So one of the, like patience, honesty, courage. Yeah, okay, fair, that's fine. But the, the way that they prove it they don't prove it through their relationship, so it's it's a bit lame. And the idea of like being truthful because they don't tell their girlfriends that they're going to this relationship service. And you know, love includes communication, open communication, and that idea of being able to forgive. So own up to it, do the right thing. Um, because you know, you've either got to give up with what you're doing or fight for it. And fighting for what you want might include some awkward conversations. What did I take away from this film? Uh, the whole idea of an anti-whipped class is ridiculous. It's, it's absolutely stupid, especially when the twist of this film is that the teacher is doing the whole thing for revenge herself because she got let down by one of these guys. Just a really, really lame twist. Um, 
woeful. I, I've got to wrap this up. I've got anything else to say. I think we give the film a rating out of five. For me, I can't recommend or suggest anything about this film. It's gross. It's not funny. It's problematic, especially around relationships and that representation of love. And I think you just got to give it a miss. Um, so if you've listened, I'm not recommending this. I'm giving this a one out of five. Really low from me. We've got socials. We've got Instagram. We've got Facebook and X, formerly known as Twitter. The question that I'm going to put out there for this episode is, have you ever done an escape room? Have you done an escape room yourself? I haven't. I've always wanted to, so I'm interested, but not this type of escape room, that's for sure, in this film. Uh, We're back tomorrow. Tomorrow. Another 2020 film. This one is called The Boys in the Band. I'm excited. I I remember when this came out. It's uh, directed by Joe Mantello. It stars Jim Parsons, Zachary Quinto, Matt Bomer, Andrew Rennells, Charlie Carver, Robin DeZeus, Brian Hutchinson, Michael Benjamin Washington, and Tuck Watkins. That's what we've got tomorrow. I'm looking forward to that one. Let's put this one in the past and I'll see you tomorrow.